Hello friends. So it is Monday, the first week of Lent. And I know some of you are totally thinking, Laura, how can this be the first week? We started it last week. Well, we totally did. But in the church calendar, how we kind of organize things is we say um, during Lent that last week was constantly referencing Ash Wednesday. So uh, Ash Wednesday and then Thursday after Ash Wednesday, Friday after Ash Wednesday, so on and so on and so on. And so now we are Monday, the first week of Lent. And we are still talking about the rulers at the time when Jesus, his last days of ministry, um, and then up into his crucifixion and resurrection. And so the person that we're gonna be speaking about today is Annas. And we're gonna go to Luke 32 for the portion of scripture that mentions Annas. And it says this, in the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, Setting the stage for Jesus' ministry, Luke turns from political to religious leadership. Critics attack Luke's record for claiming a joint high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas. John's Gospel is a similar target, reporting Jesus' first hearing on Monday Thursday evening at the house of Annas, the high priest. Since Annas was high priest in Jerusalem from AD 7 to 15, and his son-in-law Caiaphas from AD 18 to 36, they could not have been high priests at the same time. This is not an error on the part of Luke and John. First, important officials are regularly addressed by their previous titles along after they leave office, as is the case with American presidents. Second, Annas was an extremely powerful man, controlling most of the Sadducees' aristocracy that managed the temple. Josephus reports that he had unparalleled success of nepotism. Five of his sons became high priests, and the present incumbent, Caiaphas, was his son-in-law, something that had not happened before or since in Jewish history. It would have been insulting to Annas had he not been accorded the honorific title of high priest. Let's pray. In your hearing before Annas, O Lord, you answered not a word because you knew that his was only a crude attempt at holding the required two hearings before the trial in the capital cases. We thank you for your patience with the pretenses of people who thought they were judging you the judge of all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I love these prayers that sum up these lessons that we're going through. They are so word rich and word heavy. If you're like me, you go back and you re-listen, but I reread these because man, they are powerful. They are just dripping with such wonderment at what Jesus allowed himself to undergo. Mm. Well, my friends, I love you so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.